Okay, just fitted the um, fuel regulator. Okay, installing the fuel injectors now into the fuel rail. Um, relatively straightforward. Take the cap off. Put a small amount of non-sealant non silicon um, release agent on them. And then insert them in to the hole and then fit in the clip that secures them in. Okay, fuel rails complete, ready to fit on. You've got your a ceramic insulator at the bottom, a little white one, anti vibration rubber, a spacer, washer, and then the nut. So when you slide it on, it will fit straight into. Injector holes. Okay, I'm um, just installed the water temperature sensor here, and if you look at these leads, they're all labelled. This one says water, so this one should now clip on. Push them in. You have to push the wire cable in, and then push them down, and it's locked in. Finally, install the, the uh, pedometer um, for the position of the throttle valves. Um, as you can see now it's pretty well all built up. Okay so it's now the next stage of the fitting of the Mangalisi um, manifold. This is the template you get um, with the kit. As you can see I've bolted it with six bolts. Two, four, six bolts. And there are these keyholes here which you have to drill with a 5mm drill provided with the kit for locating dowels. I've also scribed around the inside of each of the intakes with a scribing tool and you get some linishing mops to take out that aluminium so that you get a perfect fit on each of the actual intake ports. Okay, so allowing for the thickness of the actual insert here which is the guide I've marked my drill 15 millimeters from the tip back with a piece of masking tape so I get the right depth that allows for basically half the length of the dowel to fit to drill into the cylinder head Okay, the dowel holes have been drilled. If you note, I've stuffed each of the uh, inlet ports with uh, cloths to stop any swarf going down them. I'll hoover that out before I pull out the actual cloths to make sure that there's no muck going down inside the cylinders. Okay, so I've just used a linishing mop on the ports to align them to the scribe marks I did before. And as you can see, it's not taking a lot out, but it's taking a small amount of aluminium out. Um, so hopefully now the manifold will be a perfect fit. I've inserted the dowels. Just need now to get the hoover on it. Um, and then pull out the um, cloth packing. And then hopefully the manifold will go straight on. Okay, so the manifold's all in now, bolted on. The only problem was this bracket here. It was fouling the wiper motor here so I had to file a bit of the bracket away here so it would miss. I may have to take a bit more away once I've got the engine running to see how it goes. I've also mounted the swirl pot, fuel pump, map centre. It's all done now, it's all fit. Okay just um, looking to fit the trigger wheel for the electronic ignition system however the bracket that came uh, with the actual sensor uh, I had to take a piece out, I cut the section out here uh, because it was fouling the um, adjuster pulley on the fan belt so now we'll try and fit it and hopefully it'll go straight on ok crank sensors fitted in the trigger wheel if you can see it there took a bit of fiddling had to alter the bracket I get some washers and stuff underneath the actual um, bolts to make it all fit correctly but now it's in place thing to remember about it is that when you fit it 
you must ensure that this slot here, the large slot, is roughly at two o'clock, which is here, when you're on top dead centre marked here. All right, so the manifold's fully fitted now, as you can see. Um, put the swirl chamber here, then the high pressure pump, map sensor, down here where the air filter used to be, I've put the fuse blocks and then this box here is where the ECU fits. So everything's quite neat, looks quite tidy now. I'm just now tidying up the wiring harness. So now you've seen the work I did to install the Mangletsi um, fuel injection system uh, with the Emerald ECU, it's K6 ECU if anybody's interested, um, and the kit that I got from Emerald. Um, the only other things to mention really is that originally I fitted the pedometer for the throttle pedal on this end of the manifold, um, which turned out to be wrong because it wouldn't go in. Uh, so I had to relocate it to this end, um, which took a little bit of messing, but um, there was no problem in the end when I actually fitted it all on. So the only other question really to be answered was, was it all worth it? Well I have to say, having talked to quite a few other E-Type enthusiasts, the hassle you get with the carbs and the ignition system means the engine runs a bit lumpy um, and it can be a bit of a pain. Well, this seems to be a very, very smooth running engine now um, and because of the ECU it can be programmed to whatever map you want uh, to give it the best running characteristics. If anybody's got any questions or queries, you'll get me on the Jag Lovers forum uh, on the net. Um, and I can answer any questions there if anybody's interested or provide any further pictures. And again, thanks for watching.